So, you guys might have just recently downloaded the next version of Apple's operating system, El Capitan, or 10.11. You might be wondering how to talk to your directory services on site. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to join a Mac client, which is brand new out of the box, into Microsoft's Windows Active Directory. My name's Dave Hornby, I'm one of the technical consultants here at Jigsaw24 and for any, any more information please do get in touch with us. The good news is this process is very similar to previous releases of the operating system so for those of you who are familiar with that process it's fairly straightforward. For those of you who've never done this before hopefully you'll find this useful. So this along the bottom here is our dock and one of the apps in the dock is System Preferences. If I click into there, this launches what effectively is my control panel. And in here I have my Users and Groups tab. If I click on that, you'll notice that everything is greyed out. And that's because I'm not authenticated. And that's signified by the lock padlock in the bottom left hand corner. If I click on that, it will ask me for a local administrator's username and password. And once I put that information in, I can now make changes. I have a login options box here and then I have a network account server with a join button to the right of that. If I click on that it will ask me to put a server address in, that might be a, an open directory server or in this case active directory. So I'll put some information in there. And what will happen then is it will prompt for a username and password and that username and password is an administrator for the domain or an account that at least has rights to join machines to the domain. So I've got my computer name in there which I'm happy with. I'm going to put a username and password in there and I'm hitting enter. You'll notice that I get a green tick and the name of my domain to the right of that. Green tick signifies that we're communicating with the domain, so we don't have a problem there. And if I click on edit, I get an option to open the directory utility. If I click on that, you'll notice again that everything's greyed out like it was previously, and that's because I'm not authenticated as a local administrator. If I click on that, you'll notice that I can make changes. Active directory is what we're concerned about here. So if I double click into there, I now have an option to unbind, so take the machine out of the domain. I've got my computer name here. If I drop the arrow down, for those of you who are worried about network home folders, the good news is that in El Capitan, SMB3 is the primary file sharing protocol. But for those of you who maybe have some legacy AFP network homes, you can change this over in here. And if we move along to administrative, there might be certain domain groups that you wish to administer this computer. That can be done by clicking in here. And any changes you've made, it is then just a case of committing them with the OK button and then quitting out of the directory utility. And that's pretty much it for joining a client to the domain. Doing one machine, very easy, but that can become quite laborious if you've got a lot of machines to do at once. And the good news is there are tools out there that make your life easier and easier to manage and joining machines to the domain can be fully automated. For any more information about that sort of thing, please do get in touch. Our details are at the end of this video. Um, thanks for watching. See you again soon.